Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid, sorry, the monthlies. I keep saying mid-month, I have no idea why. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for uh, Leos, for Sun, Moon, and Rising, for the month of October 2017. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. If you guys are interested in any of the um, any of my services, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's get to your reading, Leos. Spreads, so what are the messages for Leos for the month of October 2017? Okay, this is going to be my last. Okay, one more. All right, let's get to your reading, Leos. First card, Ace of Coins, Seven of Cups, King of Coins, the Empress, the Death card, Six of Wands, the Devil card, the Eight of Swords, the Fool card, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Coins. Beautiful reading for you, Leos. Okay, look at this. Amazing. Okay, so your general energies for the month of October 2017 is the World Card. So the World Card as a general energy for the month of October, you're going into the month ending a lot of cycles, ending um, or accomplishing whatever it is, whether it was a project, whether it was uh, relationships or pulling away from relationships, this cycle is finally ending and it's concluding in the month of October. Now, for some of you, this could represent, like I said, unfortunately, endings, uh, new beginnings come with endings. There must be an ending in order to embrace a new beginning. So the world card can also represent a achieving or accomplishing something, feeling victorious, feeling like you've accomplished whatever it was you set out to do in the first place. So for some, if you guys were taking on new projects, um, you're definitely going to get the rewards in the middle of, by the middle of October. So let's get into the reading. Your first card is the Ace of Coins. So this is on a practical level. I always prefer to see the Pentacles, um, the Ace of Pentacles in any type of reading, whether it's love, more so with love, uh, because if you get the Ace of Cups, it, it is emotional fulfillment, but the Ace of Coins is always a representation of the material. So it's like it is manifesting. It is unfolding at the present. So anyways, that was my spiel. The Ace of Coins, this is how you're entering the month. So you're entering the month with the World card, which is ending a new cycle and starting a new beginning. And this new beginning has already started. Now you're going into it the seven of cups the seven of cups is a the illusions card so there's a lot of illusions or hopes or desires that you're wanting to achieve that you will definitely be seeing manifested because you have the king of coins here okay for some of you guys it's dealing with an earth sign so an earth sign would be a cat uh, sorry a capricorn virgo or taurus now the empress card is here the empress card is all about confidence feeling yourself feeling sexy feeling enticing radiating leos have no problem in this area um but by the beginning i would say by the second week of october you're definitely going to be you know someone's definitely trying to get your attention leo now you have the death card here the death card is obviously endings like i said and the six of cups so from this ending there is a good uh, not just the new beginning, but you're actually going to see things manifest for you. So if you guys have been waiting for some type of money that's coming in, whether it's um, getting loans, whether it's getting grants, whatever it may be, it is definitely going to unfold by the by the beginning of October to the 2nd of October. OK, and all the way through October, um, you guys are going to be very abundant or having um, having enough um having enough to actually be able to put to the side and save okay um okay moving along 
I'm going to get into the messages that I'm getting, but I want to show you the cards you're getting. So you have the Devil card here. The Devil card next to the Six of Wands, Victory. The Eight of Swords, Mental Anxiety and Feeling Stuck. The Fool card, New Beginnings. Ten of Wands, the ending of burdens, the endings of struggling, the endings of any type of confusion that had been going on uh, throughout the month of September. Now you have the Ace of Cups here. So you have two Aces. One in the beginning and the other one almost at the end of the month. So what this represents, new money coming in and relationships forming. You have the ten of coins here at the end of the month. So it's ending the end of the month very abundant, very victorious, feeling like you've accomplished something. So this could be manifested in many different ways. So let me get into the reading. Give me one second. Okay, so like I said, some of you guys may be dealing with an earth sign. Um, and this is a new connection. This recently happened because you do have the ace of coins here. So this is the beginning stages of getting to know someone. Um, if you guys are currently single, that's a very quickly going to end because you do have the death card here and the world card. So what this represents is, again, for those of you guys that are single, it means you go from single to actually being in a relationship. For those of you guys that are in a relationship, unfortunately can also represent the ending of a relationship and becoming single. Now, the Six of Wands here is definitely talking about feeling like people are wanting your attention. Like you're definitely being pursued or people are starting to give you more notice. You're very, uh, people of the opposite sex are very attracted to you at the present time and there will be uh, more suitors, uh, whether it's males or females, uh, pursuing you for the month of October. Now, the devil card here is, again, next to the six of cups, I mean, six of wands. There is definitely um, stability and power coming in. This could be advancement. Um, the six of wands could be a celebration of people actually uh, seeing how hard you work and being able to push forward or even offer you a new opportunity. In the business front, it can also represent uh, being given a raise or people applauding you and based on the fact that they're noticing how hard you work, uh, they're going to give you a higher ranking title. So the Eight of Swords also speaks about, again, like I said, feeling tied, feeling uh, a little bit stressed, and this is more of a mental type of energy. But again, you do uh, move forward with the Fool. The Fool is definitely a good, um, a new beginning. Now, in this area, you have the Ace of Coins, the Death card, and the Fool. What this represents is that the manifestation for a new beginning is coming in based on the fact that there was an ending and you're starting anew with this Fool card. Now, the Seven of Cups, it's a, the Illusions card, but I feel that more than Illusions, this is actually your desires. You, you're, you're wanting or you're calling for new desires and the Six of Wands is definitely going to give you that type of victory. It's going to give you that type of energy, pushing forward and actually calling or manifesting, not fearing uh, the, the, the manifestation process and actually having fun with it. Now, the Ten of Wands can also represent feeling a little bit tired uh, physically. Uh, it probably has to do with, you know, a lot of long hours. Like I said, I do see with the King of Wands here, the Ace and the Ten, there's definitely abundance coming in, but obviously sometimes it it's being represented as longer hours at work, putting more effort, etc. So I do see you guys a little bit drained uh, by the second week of October, but by the third week, you're definitely going to feel that it's all worth it because you have the king of coins um the devil card and the ace of cups so it's like you're starting to see the manifestations there's an offer coming through um and i feel that there's going to be an offer coming through in the beginning of the month as well uh and and again like i said i definitely see you guys increase your income uh that's for sure but the connection that you may be dealing with again like i said you may be dealing with an earth sign uh, a capricorn in particular or some, some may even be dealing with the Scorpio. You do have the death card here. And um, the Ace of Cups could be a water sign as well. So again, like I said, I see you guys um, having a lot of suitors surround you or wanting to get your attention. Um, and again, by the end of the month, you definitely end up feeling very abundant. Um, I feel that this um, more than love connection um, it, there's going to be a lot of advancements either if you guys run your own business it's expanding your business and actually getting more people interested in your product uh for some of you guys again like i said those of you that are single 
or recently became single, a lot of people are being attracted towards you. A lot of people are coming in, um, you know, and, and I feel that for some of you guys, this ace of swords could be a representation of the fear of attachment. And the fear of attachment has to do with, for some, maybe you're so used to, or it's been so long that you guys have been single, that you're used to having that type of freedom to do whatever you want. And relationships could become a bit of a challenge. Uh, the reason I say that is because the Ten of Wands here is next to the full. So it's like you feel overburdened or you feel like people could be a little bit overbearing. And it's obviously to do with connections and people that you're dealing with, whether it's texting, whether it's communicating with them on the phone. Someone's definitely trying to get your attention, Leo. But for some of you guys, it could be uh, this Eight of Swords has been represented as feeling a little bit stressed due to the fact that you're not used to always texting, always talking or whatever. Um, and it has to do with the fact that you're so used to, again, like I said, having that freedom to do whatever you want. So it's kind of like for some of you Leos that have been single for a while, you've been wanting a relationship and, you know, to be serious or in a committed relationship. But then finally you start dealing with people and you find that there is a connection with one or two signs and the giving of attention and actually putting effort and getting to know someone is becoming a little bit a bit a little bit challenging for you guys now for those of you guys currently that are married or in a serious committed relationship the world card definitely talks about taking it to the next level um but again there is a death card here so there is an ending to something there's definitely an ending so it could be if you guys were dealing with the person uh with a partner that has an ex and that ex was becoming an issue because the seven of cups is here uh, things were being hidden or you felt like things were being hidden um, finally things are going to be clearing out for you guys by the middle of October coming with an ending so it could be the detachment of that type of connection or relationship now if you're dealing with um, your partner has you know an ex baby uh, mother or an ex father um, did I say that right? I'm not sure. But uh, basically dealing with baby mama or baby daddy drama. Um, the Six of Wands is definitely talking about having the notion of knowing your worth and letting your partner know that you know your worth and for them to give you that your rightful, what's the word, your rightful position. So if they are allowing the other person or the person from the past to continuously keep stepping in your relationship or speaking or even having any type of say in regards to the relationship you need to let your partner know that he needs to or she needs to step up and put that person in their position you're an ex and yes you're the mother of my child or yes you're the father of my child that's never going to change but that also doesn't mean that you disrespect the person I'm with or that doesn't mean this or that doesn't mean that they have to start putting that type of barrier and I see that for some of you guys, unfortunately, it may not turn out that way. And that's the reason why you're walking away from this relationship, okay? Or it becomes an issue to the point where you're wanting to start new. You're wanting to start something uh, long-lasting that perhaps you... For some of you guys, it may even be that you felt with this Eight of Swords here in the devil, like you put so much effort and time into this relationship and it just didn't pan out. And I feel that it didn't pan out for a third party type of issue, third party type of issue, not issue person, because um, I am getting third party type of energy, although I don't see any threes here, but I'm definitely sensing or being told that it, it's kind of like an ex that's roaming the person you're dealing with or that you've been in a serious committed relationship with it, that you guys are still dealing with, like I said, a father that, you know, the ex-dad, ex-dad, sorry, the ex-baby daddy here or an ex-baby mama. So again, like I said, um, I feel that by the by the end of the month, you're definitely going to be making a choice, Leo. And once you make that choice, you're moving forward with it. And again, embracing the new beginning that's coming to you um, and also being able to materialize um, stability, whether it's finances or whether it's, again, like I said, uh, in relationships. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, comment, share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And we will see each other in the middle of the month. Okay?